I lived in the Buddhist community, okay? And my teacher in the Buddhist community, he told me, you're very attached to golf. I've noticed that you, you've got a lot of attachment to golf, haven't you? And I thought, yeah, I think you have got a lot of attachment to golf, and I'd like to play every weekend. So it was a day like this, a beautiful day, and I thought, right, uh, you know, I'm not going to go to the golf course. I'm going to sit in a Buddhist monastery <laughs> and overcome my attachment to golf. <laughs> And all my friends are texting me, oh, you know, we're here, you know, waiting for you, are you coming? It's 11 o'clock, we've got the tea time booked, 11 until 11.30, and we've just had some breakfast, and uh, we're looking forward to the game, beautiful weather. And I, sorry guys, I can't come today. <laughs> so I'm sitting in the Buddhist monastery, you know, beautiful day like that. And I'm thinking, no, this thing. Okay, you know, I must overcome this attachment. <laughs> but it just didn't feel good. It didn't feel good. So, I, here, I'm not asking anyone to give anything up. I say, go your own way. Do what you feel to do. What I'm encouraging is that you do whatever you decide to do, you're doing it from the being. You're doing it in and as the being. And the truth is, t today I still love golf. I still do. But the need for it and the, 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 the attachment to it is actually not there. But just I enjoy the expression of that. And if I can't play for a while, I can't play. Because something inside me has changed. But if we just try to, if you think, ah, oh, I can't go to any parties, then this will not this will not land for you. But you should keep going to parties in and as the being until that just stops naturally for you. It's like some people they say, uh, can I continue with my practices? I've got some practices that I do every day. You know, I've got uh, visualization practice or I've got mantra practice or something. I said, you can carry on. Why not? Why not? Carry on until the practice gives you up. Don't say, oh, I must give everything up. No, no. Just shift where you are in yourself. Just shift that. And then just let everything take care of itself. This is why I, I use this quote by Nisargadatta so much. I use it this morning, I use it again now. That I allow my life to unfold according to its destiny and its karma, yet I remain as I am. It's so simple. It's so simple. It's not saying you have to sit, meditate 14 hours every day, you have to do prostrations morning and evening, you know, you have to, your guru has to hit you over the head every time you're, you're falling asleep in meditation? No. If you like, put the bath on, have a nice hot bath, get some bubble bath in there, and kick back and totally enjoy. Just sit back. Have a little smoke in there if you feel like it. As well. <laughs> Just enjoy it. Why not? Why not? This is not a strict path. It's a path of freedom. This is the path of freedom. Some people need strict discipline. But I say, well, I had enough of that. I had enough of it. And you know, when we, when we come to the end of our lives, I don't think I'm gonna be thinking about that day I sat in the Buddhist center and didn't go to golf. Like, that was a wonderful day in my life. And no, I wish I would have gone to golf. <coughs> So I say, do what you feel to do, but do it from the awake state. Because the truth is this, if we do stuff from attachment, if we do stuff from the false eye, if we do stuff out of neediness and avoidance, then it is never ever going to fulfill us anyway. Just temporarily, we will get some need met temporarily, and then it's over. And then we will feel we need something else. 
something else, something else. The egoic state is a state of need. It always needs something. And most people are just following that, following that. But I'm saying, no, look into the very ego itself. Because if you're basing yourself on that, no amount of experience, no amount of money, no amount of sex, drugs, and rock and roll is going to meet that. And, uh, you know, Mick Jagger, look at Mick Jagger, lead singer of the Rolling Stones. Can you imagine how much money he's got? How much sex he's had? How much drugs he's had? How much life experience he's had? And he's still singing, I can't get no satisfaction. <laughs> and I try, and I try, and I try, but I can't get no satisfaction. And he, you know, if he can't do it, what chance have we got? <laughs> Something inside us will like this. And something inside will say, no, I'm going to do it. I say, okay, you have freedom to try. I'm just pointing out the truth. And if we're ready to hear it, beautiful. If we're not ready to hear it, beautiful.